Welcome, welcome, welcome to a very busy, productive, sleep deprived, stressful, but also fun and enjoyable and very honest and realistic week in my life as a communication student in Spain. I hope you enjoyed this like 30 minute documentary. I don't know how this video turned out so long. I got this new pan, 28 centimeters nonstick coating soft grip handle. I think that's how you know that you're growing up is that you get really excited about great quality pans. So I am making my signature breakfast. If you have followed me for a while, you know that I eat the same thing every day. I saute up some bell peppers and onions with balsamic vinegar and then I put um, two eggs and avocado on the side. Oh, I have to show you something. So for my corporate communications class, each team had to pick a company, a multinational big company to represent for the semester. Our team is Royal Caribbean and we were kind of joking around that like, it'd be funny if we dressed up for this. And then I thought, I'm actually going to buy these hats. Unsurprisingly, they are a terrible quality. So when I washed them, all but two of them lost their little gold thing. So now I'm gonna have to do a little bit of sewing. But yeah, basically on our first presentation we got an 8.5 and then we were like so professor what do you think we could do to improve to try and get to a 10 maybe he's really looking at the delivery and he literally said put on a show so a show has to have a costuming department I wasn't sure how much I wanted to narrate this video, but I think at least when I watch vlogs, I wanna know all the details, you know? I wanna know what is it you're studying and what exactly are you doing on your computer in those long time lapses. Like that's what I hate about shows that take place in high school. You always see the characters in the hallways or in the cafeteria and you never see any of the actual schoolwork. So in this video, I wanna give you more behind the scenes. So this presentation that I'm working on is for corporate communications where we're Royal Caribbean and our task was to analyze their current social media presence and explain what it is they're doing well and not well on each of the platforms that they're on. My electricity just went out. There was like a pop, like this light bulb over the oven exploded. And then my Wi-Fi stopped working and now nothing's working. I tried to open the electrical panel thing, but let's be honest, I opened that and had no idea what it meant. So I just texted my landlord, which was a task in and of itself because I had to figure out a bunch of new Spanish vocabulary. But I was like, hey, the electricity just went out. Que necesito hacer? I just realized the fridge is also not working, so I tried to open it real fast. One of my favorite snacks to make has been Greek yogurt, but like very specific brands. Chopped up pear, a ton of cinnamon, and then hemp seeds. I planned out my grocery shopping. Yes, I have a Notion database for groceries. This really should come as no surprise to you. I did a little bit of planning, and then it was to the grocery store. So the super exciting thing about my grocery list is that when you check the items that you need in the database, there is another page that I go to called shopping list, which I can just open up on my phone, and that'll only show me the items that I marked as needing to buy. Okay, Google, play sweaty playlist on Spotify. That's a really good playlist, by the way. You should follow me on Spotify. We've got it going here, here. Let's do this. Time to cook. I never ever cook like a single portion. If I'm taking the time to cook, I am cooking for, I don't know, at least two days, three days, ideally. The nice thing is that I also never ever get tired of eating the same thing over and over. So honestly, living on my own is kind of ideal for me because I just make huge batches of food. I eat the same thing for lunch and dinner for like two or three days. And I don't have to do any cooking for two or three days. Bro, I'm so excited to eat this. Yay! My hair does not look good. That was a lovely lunch. Now I made myself some coffee and it's on to the next task. So I am the communications manager for the Segovia Music Club. Today, they picked their new band members because they were doing auditions for a few days. And I also wanted to do like individual photo shoots to introduce each new band member on Instagram. I'm like a little bit stressed out this week because it feels like everything came together 
for this week. But it's all good, it's all good in the neighborhood because we have a plan. So I worked on planning that for about an hour and then I had to bust out the needle and thread and my non-existent sewing skills, but I actually managed to fix all the hats. So then I went to my friend's place for our group project meeting and I presented them with the hats. <laughs> a little 30 second pitch for an episode of a web series we're doing for visual storytelling. There's still more work to do. Okay, now I'm gonna run through the presentation that we're doing tomorrow. Um, I wanna try and memorize my part. How do sailors greet? Do they salute? Do they go like this? Ahoy! Cause I made the presentation start with Ahoy! We're Royal Caribbean. No matter how tired I am, I always try to make sure I have no dirty dishes in the sink before I go to bed because waking up to a clean apartment is nothing better than that. Then I did my little bedtime routine, looking over my to-do list and writing a journal entry in day one. I did my skincare and then a bit of reading before bed. I started my day with my usual puzzles, the Wordle, the daily mini crossword, and then the regular crossword. These are all very important to me. And then I did readings for school, which I usually do in the morning because I can focus better. So today I was reading for media and entertainment industries about public media and what factors make it more effective. Okay, now I have set aside some time to kind of plan out the rest of my week, which I already did on Sunday, but then suddenly so many things started changing. The class that was canceled yesterday was moved to Thursday, so Thursday is gonna be a horrible day. Some breakfast plans on Saturday got canceled. I'm scheduled a bunch of photo shoots for music club on Friday and Saturday so just like a lot of stuff is changing around and I need to just sort out my head and my calendar okay oh that's bright now it's time to get ready to film the apartment makeover video the sunlight at this time of day is so so nice so I picked a good time to film always thinking about light and filming conditions Ahoy! We're Royal Caribbean and today we're going to be analyzing I made the second yogurt bowl of the week so that I wouldn't get hungry while filming because then I just cannot focus I Cleaned up the place a little bit and then finally Okay, now I think I'm ready After being away from YouTube for about nine months It's definitely weird to get back into the whole flow of connecting the camera, setting up all the shots um, Filming all the b-roll so it's definitely very tiring. Like I remember how to do all of it, but I need to retrain myself. I'm done, so that's good. But I'm so tired now. I have to leave home in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna make sure to have a good meal to fuel me for the presentation. We're gonna practice together for 45 minutes, and then I have four and a half hours of classes. The same lunch slash dinner for the third time in a row. able to practice our presentation like one or two times and then a bunch of people started coming into the classroom including one of my subscribers who goes to IE so that was fun um, and then this is Gerardo he has an album that came out this summer so you should stream Cavoleando on Spotify and this is Rebecca we have so many talented people in our class Rebecca recently started selling her art on tote bags under the brand name Espaguerit it is so cute, 10 out of 10, would recommend. <laughs> Our presentation went super well, so I was really happy. And then after that class, I had about 30 minutes until my seminar about cultural heritage. So I just did some stuff on my computer for a little while. Oh my gosh, bro, it is the best thing in the world to come home. I had almost made it home and then I realized that I left my beautiful new tote bag in the classroom. So I had to walk all the way back, but I was on a phone call with my dad, so he was able to entertain me while I made that entire walk. One more time. Okay, Google, play Sweaty Playlist on Spotify. Hit it. Next up, all leg triceps dip. Now I have to 
take this course on LinkedIn. I have a class called Digital Marketing and Social Media, which the sessions themselves, the lectures are pretty interesting, but it's really weird that we don't have homework for it. I'm pretty sure the only homework assignment that we've had is this LinkedIn course. Our professor wanted us to get a free trial of LinkedIn Premium and then take this course called Getting Your Website Online or something. Computer connected to Wi-Fi or your phone connected to your mobile network. You then use a browser to access various websites. Servers are the computers that store the actual files that make up the websites. Let's go! It is time for the bedtime routine. I will read. I drank three bottles of water. I'm doing my bedtime routine. I will stretch. I always need to look at my time tracking for the day when I'm writing my journal entry because otherwise, like, I just don't remember what I did. Once every four days, I need to cut up more veggies for my daily breakfast. Today is veggie chopping day. Again, starting my day with some class readings. This is one on internal communications and how to communicate with employees for corporate communications. Also, look at how pretty it is when it's getting bright outside. October and November are busy birthday... Stop! October and November are busy birthday seasons amongst my friends, so I want to do a little bit of planning to figure out what are the gifts for each one of them going to be. I've been wearing this shirt at home, but I think I'll just wear it to school. If you put dress pants with it, I think it's fine. Yesterday I looked really good at school, so I have some leeway today. Today we have our very first session of a class called Events Management which I'm very excited about because one of the books on the syllabus is a book I've actually already read. The book talks about not expecting gatherings to turn out well on their own and actually putting in the effort to plan them that way. I mean, who knows? The class might be nothing like that book, but I have hope. As always, listening to the Freakonomics podcast, they have an archive of like 500 episodes, so I'm set for life basically, and today's episode that I'm listening to is called The Data-Driven Guide to Sane Parenting. Bon appétit! There are some small benefits to breastfeeding in the short term. It's my new tote bag! Cute. Let's go grocery shopping! After that, I had a bunch of other errands to run. So one was that this local business in Segovia left me a little gift bag, so I went to go pick that up. I had to go to the post office to pick up an Amazon package. Okay, I was successful at three of my four errands. The last place that I had to go to to pick up an Amazon package was closed for siesta, thwarted again by this Spanish tradition that I just don't understand. Okay, we're just gonna see how much cooking I can get done in an hour. No way, I was literally considering skipping class. Then we get an email just now that the professor's car broke down on the way to Segovia, like second time this week that we have a class canceled. But oh my gosh, yay, now I don't actually have to get an absence. Let's go. Okay, another amazing thing that happened is that the TV that I had ordered arrived much earlier than I thought it would. I didn't think I would be able to show it to you in this video, but voila. See, this is why I work out. It's not for the mental health benefits, that's silly. It's so that I don't need men to open jars and set up TVs for me. Okay, and then the thing I got from Olivia, Singular Olivia, was this cute little package of a glass water bottle. Gotta do the YouTuber thing. <laughs> then I actually really wanted to buy some candles and hand sanitizer when I went to Madrid, but then I didn't end up buying anything because I didn't find anything I liked. So this is perfect. I got an evergreen candle 
and one called Better Than Yoga. And then a big candle called Afternoon Tea. Oh, and it comes with little matches. As a communication student, I very much appreciate this level of effort. Then I finished up planning the music club photo shoot, so figuring out the location for each one, the timing, and what my schedule was gonna look like each day. If you know me at all, you might know that I often set ambitious projects for myself and then I can't not complete them. I feel like I overextended myself just a tiny bit because what I'm trying to do is individual photo shoots with all the band members, 18 band members. And I also want to do like a cosmopolitan style little handwritten questionnaire with each of them. But I will say I'm enjoying this, like I'm excited. And in the end, isn't that what matters? I'm just covering up my classmates' names, but we got a 10 out of 10 on our presentation. Let's go. <laughs> Now, it is time to edit the apartment makeover. Guess who's still awake? I'm not one to glorify sleep deprivation. I had to do what I had to do, but it is coming along very well. I don't think I'll be able to premiere it this week though because I'm gonna be doing all the music club photo shoots on Friday, but I'm still very excited for you to see it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Now I have to do homework. So for this stupid technology class that we have, we had to conduct a few interviews with potential customers of a technology product that we're creating. And now I have to write a two page report on that. So I'm just gonna BS that as quickly as I can and then hopefully also get some editing time in before class. The report took about an hour, so then I was gonna try to squeeze in some editing time, but it turns out that my SSD drive was completely full, so I had to clear up some space on it before I could edit anything. Okay, since I'm just gonna have to wait for these files to transfer, I'm gonna use this time to do a little workout and wash my hair before I go to class. Okay. doesn't like it, right? That's because the marketing guy is already asking. I wanna see your delis. Every day they see what we make. I went to this place called The Cave to get myself an apple and a coffee. I went to the media lab to get the camera equipment I needed for the photo shoots. And then I had a little bit of time until our group project meeting, so I worked on editing the video. Just more and more editing, always. Well, the way, the way is always the same, okay? It's always the same. We work. I had another hour in between my second and third classes of the day. Can you guess what I did during that hour? That's right, more video editing. I stopped by the print shop after school to print out all those questionnaires that I designed for music club, cooked up some dinner, and then finished video editing. Finally, this time for real, for real. Done, oh my God. Goodness, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I lost the word all today. The word was dandy, so I had candy, sandy, and handy, but I did not go for dandy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling a little bit this week. I'm quite tired this morning, and it is going to be very important for me next week to reset and keep the plate a little less full. Male technician and client turns into something more sinister. As Maria's obsession with her manicure client leads it to a series of invasive behaviors, I forgot to record anything during class, but it was a three hour class and we had six groups presenting their pitches. So plenty of time for every group to get 
completely scrutinized for like half an hour. I'm a little worried about our idea for our web series, but we're gonna meet tomorrow, so hopefully we can get it sorted out. I'm actually feeling surprisingly okay about the photo shoots. Even though I haven't even started that yet, I feel like I see the finish line of the week, so I'm getting like a second wind, as they say. This time we're gonna be looking at the Canon Speedlight. It's the 600 EX2. Don't feel comfortable with the fact that they only gave me three batteries total, but I guess that's what we're working with. Also, how fitting is this shirt for today? That's what I'm doing today. I did so much walking for these photo shoots and I wish I had gotten more behind the scenes, but I just did not have the time or the mental space to think about a second camera. But I'll show you some of the results so that you can kind of see the sorts of photo shoots that we were doing. exhausting. I've been shooting pretty much since 1 p.m. and it is now after 7. 53 flights climbed down. Look at how pretty this dress is. I just uploaded the apartment tour video. I didn't have enough time to fill out the description completely, like all the decor that I bought and wanted to link, so I'll probably do that tomorrow, but I just wanted to get the video out there. So now we're going out to dinner, so that'll be very nice. Oh my god, oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> so weekly vlog. It's very exposed. Now it oh 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 click click this. Click there. What do you want to say to Gigi and her friends? Fans. Friends. I don't know what she calls you guys. We love her. No, we, we love, love you guys as well. Thank you for supporting her, you know? We don't even know how to use camera. She is a communication student. No, I don't. I'm pro YouTuber. Oh, okay. My secret profession is YouTube. <laughs> morning. So I slept about four hours and I did not feel amazing when I woke up, but nothing that a cold shower, an absurd amount of water, and a healthy breakfast can't fix, right? I cleaned up my apartment a little bit because we had spilled a bunch of like chips onto the floor that I did not see the night before, but that became very obvious in the morning. And then I pretty much just forced myself to start my day and get up and moving. So I planned out what groceries I needed. I went grocery shopping, organized all of that, did some cooking. Remember to hydrate. And then I had a little bit of time before my photo shoots for the day, so I found a different place to work. I edited a bunch of photos, and then I had like this nice little home base to return to after each photo shoot that day. I was so dead when I got home, but one more Zoom meeting for a group project, and then I was free. Practical Jokers is my comfort show. I have a playlist on YouTube of some of my favorite uh, bits that they've done. I made myself some golden milk while I edited some more photos, and then I had a call scheduled with a friend back in the United States. So that was really, really nice, even though I couldn't really talk for much more than an hour because I was exhausted. Almost done with the photos. Everyone from the first day is fully edited. Everyone from the second day is like half edited. Right now my computer has gone into night shift mode where the screen turns more orangey to reduce the amount of blue light that you get before sleep. And yes, I can manually turn it off, but I don't want to mess up my sleep. But overall, I am so excited about how these turned out. Yes, it was a lot of work and it's still not done. And definitely some people were like, Patricia, you do not have to do this. This scale of a project, this is gonna be so much work for you. 
you. But I actually really enjoyed doing it and I'm so happy with how the photos turned out. So it was just like really creatively satisfying. Few better feelings than having an idea in your head of what you want something to look like, like creative projects. And then you can actually bring that into reality the way that you imagined it. And finally, we've reached Sunday. So on Sundays, I like to go to a coffee shop to do my weekly review and planning process just to get a change of environment. I usually don't like to do schoolwork or any other kind of work on Sundays. I wanna just have it set aside for planning and cleaning and just getting myself ready for the week. But on this day, I did do a little bit of photo editing. I did break my own rule a little bit. But I did do my weekly planning and cleaning, which I think are the two most important things for me, are to start the week with a plan and with a clean space. So finally, we've made it to the end of this extremely long video. Thank you for following along with me. I hope it was enjoyable. Um, I actually enjoyed filming it more than I thought I would, but I'm not going to make any promises about future vlogs. Maybe there'll be some, but for the time being, Thank you for watching this one and I hope you have a great week.